Marvelous people. Today we're going to be looking at how we can install coding standards on Symfony 7. So first off we need to head over to Packagist. Um, I'll also preface this with the fact that this is these are the coding standards I use. Um, if you use something different that's perfectly fine but um, I find these to be most effective. So first off, we need to simplify easy coding standards. So let's uh, hit that into our into our um, terminal. Wait for that to load. Okay. For next, we need to go over to here. We need to type in rector. Okay. By Thomas Wotroba. Um And let's see. Is that finished? No loading composer repository with the time travel video editing i shall see you in a moment okay so that is done and now let's um, uh, require rector and lastly we can grab php stan um, so if it asks you to run a recipe um, just say yes Okay, so now uh, we can require PHP stan. Yes, we want it with the dev tag because it's only for development purposes. And there we go. So, first things first. Um, if you go into your composer uh, JSON file, you see here there's this scripts um, object. And this can be very useful. You can place custom scripts in here. And that's exactly what we're going to do for our coding standards so we don't have to write out bin vendor min every time. We can just go straight to the composer and then call the specific script. I'll paste in a bunch of scripts that I have usually used on most of my projects, actually on all of my projects. Um, so here we have the uh, rector, rector dry. So the dry one just means it won't make any changes. Uh, PHP stan CS check so it just checks it and then the actual fix is there and then uh, this is for unit testing which actually we don't have in this project right now but we'll just keep it there for for now so um, now we can run this by going to the compo uh, to the terminal and just typing in for example composer rector and it should complain because we don't have the rector configuration file so as you can see it's asking us um, do you want to generate it? So yes, we do. Thank you very much. So now you can see it's created this file, so we can go in here, and it's got this configuration. So it's just saying that it's checking these. Right, so now we need to modify this a bit. Um, we can get rid of the with rules, um, and we can add with sets, like so, which will take an array, and here we need the set list set list uh, like so and here we can choose from whatever we want so I'm using PHP 7 uh, sorry PHP 8.3 and uh, we can also use the symphony set list which should be here and we can choose one of these uh, it doesn't seem to have seven at the moment so we'll leave that out and what else do we want? Let's have a look. And we'll have type de declaration. Okay, so now if we want to run this, we can run composer rector dry. And that will run the dry version of it. And it says one file would have changed um, inside of our kernel file, I think. Uh, sorry, inside of the index file. And it gives you git diff, which is quite useful. So we can run that, just why not? Okay, so next we want to uh, run the composer fix CSS. Uh, sorry, fix CS, which is, uh, I, I use that as coding style. Um, and again, as you can see, it's asking us to create uh, the file because we don't have the config 
very useful that. So there you go, it's created an ecs.php file. And again, it's got these uh, configuration rules, um, which is quite useful. But we are going to use the sets again. So I've got some sets here, um, like so. And we'll do that, there we go. Oh, I may have changed the names. Interesting. Um, ah, of course. Of course, I'm imp I imported the Rector one, not the uh, easy coding style one. Um, oopsie daisy. Like so, there we go. Okay, cool. So um, this just gives us a bunch of things that are really useful. So now if I run fix again, 17 errors were fixed and we can see those errors in the git diff. Um, now we want to run um, the PHP stand. The PHP stand, like so. Oh no, 11 errors. So as you can see, we have a few errors on there um, and I could go through and fix them all, uh, but I'm not going to on this video because that would take ages. Well, 11 hours wouldn't take too long, but it's too long for this video. Right, so now we just need to head over to the phpstan.dist.neon. Uh, do not ask me why they use neon. Um, it's a relatively unheard of extension, and it would be much better if they used PHP, but you know, what can you say? But as you can see, this creates a really good, what I call trifecta effect, where, cause you've got three tools that are essentially covering slightly different um, cases uh, for your code. So you end up with really nice code at the end of running all of this stuff. So that is it for how to run coding standards in Symfony. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my book. Use the QR code to find it. Have a good day.